Richard Curtis. Rolling in, it's a big game today. Let's go, Mara! Madeline, team captain, you rock it today. McGivney, you keep it cool over there with the teachers. Where do you guys meet these kids? They are incredible. Today, look who's here, guys. Three great kids. You guys ready to do this? Of course they are. And the teachers who make it all happen from Ursuline Academy in Newcastle County, Delaware. And I like to welcome them in to officially to say they're in the classroom. The show that tests students and their favorite teachers. The pep rally, I'm nervous to say this, has been huge all day. They've been rocking and rolling. It's winner take all in the cash today, which is going to be $500 for the students or the teachers and bragging rights to say I am smarter than you. Before we meet our contestants, guys, we're starting this show with a pop quiz. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, Wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Buzzers are in hand. Time starts now. What two letters are used for the abbreviation for the state of Florida? Here we go, Mr. McGivney. FL. FL is right, right at the top of the show. That sound, guys, double points. This one's worth 20. What is the seed-bearing female reproductive part of a flower called? Madeline. Stamen. Incorrect. For the steal, Miss Koenig. Pistol. Pistol is right, or the carpal good. During the Olympics, what color medal is awarded for second place? Mr. Bolinski. Silver. Silver is right, according to a popular nursery rhyme. What little animal followed Mary to school one day? Clara. A little lamb. A little lamb, yeah, nice. Who is the 39th president of the United States? 39. No time there. Jimmy E. Carter, Jr. What is the term for a group of related math facts using the same numbers? <laughs> Answer, we're looking for the fact family. We are family. What is the name of Dora's singing friend that is loaded up with things and knickknacks, too? Here we go, Mrs. Koenig. Backpack. Backpack is right. Yeah. The country of Russia stretches across Asia and what other continent? Here we go, Mr. McGivney. Europe. Europe is right. In the MLB, the city of Milwaukee is represented by what team? Mr. Bolinski. Brewers. The Brewers is right. Circle of Life is a song from 1994 animated Disney movie. Here we go, Mr. Bolinski. The Lion King. The Lion yeah. King is right, and teachers, whoa, holy moly, shut her down. We had to stop the roll they just went on. 80 points for our teachers. They're loving it. Students, we got out of the gates with 10 points over there. And you know what we say? You got to start somewhere. And that's what we're doing. Madeline, we got some big money on the line today. Has anyone ever handed you a check for $500? I can't say they have. Today could be the day, though, that I'm going to do that for you. And if I do, you can't cash it and take it out, uh, take the guys out for a little buffet. You got to put it somewhere else. Where's it going to be? It's going to go to furnishings for a middle school lounge. Oh, nice. I like some uh, some chairs, some trendy, like, uh, bean bags and stuff. Popcorn machine. Oh! <laughs> All right. Yeah, that sounds like one heck of a place to be. And teachers, if you guys win it, where's it going to be? We're going to get some fun recess equipment. Ooh, okay, nice. Uh, is that for Mr. McGivney? He seems like a wild man <laughs> on the recess yard. All right, well, I'll tell you what, guys. The money could be going two different places, but we're changing it up because I'm going to send one one of you guys to detention right now. Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. All right, there you go. Those are the rules. You guys know how to play. Trailing team is our students right now. You guys ready for your category? Yeah. Here you go. Science. Ooh. Play. play. Here you go. In science, melting ice and crushing a can are examples of what type of change that affects the form of a substance, but not its chemical composition. What type of change? I don't know. I don't know. 
physical change? Physical change is right. All right, Madeline, this is the good part. Three teachers over here that are just dying to go to detention. Who are you going to let go? We're going to send Mr. Belinsky. Mr. Belinsky, our math teacher. He's up in arms. He's absolutely shook. Cannot believe he's on his way to detention. And we move to our teachers. Category. This is a tough one for you guys, because you sent the math teacher. Oh. You should have sent the social studies teacher. Oh. That's the category. Dude. That's where oh, we're at. Right. We're going to play it? Yeah. We're playing it. Yeah. According to a popular expression, which Roman emperor fiddled while Rome burned in 64 AD? Nero. Mm -hmm. Nero? Nero is right. Okay, there you go, guys. We sent him off. You ready for this? One of you three is going to detention. Mara, you look like you've had like at least 12 detentions already this year. Yeah. yeah. Will it be Mara? Or who We're are we going? sending Clara. Clara yeah. closest into the detention. She's going to go. Show this to me. She's our eighth grader, guys. And she just stood up, Mr. B, for the old high five right there. Hey, it's, it, it, is, it is a game right now, and I love that. Here we go. Students, we go back to you. Speaking of games, your category is games. Play. In what traditional party game do players walk around a circle of seats while music plays and must rush to get a seat when the music stops? Musical chairs. Okay, there you go, guys. Nicely done. Madeline, big decision here for you. Who are you going to send? We're going to send Miss Koenig. Miss Koenig leaving Mr. McGivney all by himself. Okay. Our team captain, Mr. B's over there as well, and we move over. Here we go. This one's on you as well. Category is languages. I'm playing it. Sure. Amarillo, excuse me, Amarillo is the Spanish word for what color? Yellow. Yellow is right. Puts the pressure back on to the students. I would like to see Mad Dog go to detention. Mad Dog is out of the game. How about this one? <laughs> Leaving Mara. <laughs> oh, Mara, I am so excited for you. You know why? Right now, you have the chance to be the hero for the students. How do you feel about the category of famous fables? Mm, play. There you go. In the Aesop fable, the tortoise and the hare. The tortoise challenges the hare to what competition? A race. She wins the round! She does it, our seventh grader! I love it! Hey, Mr. Gibby, you had the detention. I gotta give my girl Mara a high five over here. She wins it for the students and gets them up to 50 points. Now look, when we come back, guys, we're gonna see how well you can spell. So we'll see you right after the break. you I've ever seen. Welcome back to the classroom, guys. On the show today, it's one of my favorites. It's students and teachers from Ursuline Academy in Wilmington, Delaware. Home of the Raiders. Wait till you guys meet these players. I love them. Hi, my name is Madeline, a.k.a. Mad Dog. I'm in eighth grade, and I love my teachers, but they're going down. Hi, my name's Mara. I'm in seventh grade, and I do Irish dance and field hockey. <laughs> Hi, my name is Clara, and I'm in eighth grade, and my Kahoot name is Destroyer, which is what I'll be doing to the teachers. Hi, my name is Eileen, and I teach science, and I have a class pet that's a hairless guinea pig. Hi, my name is Brendan John Romulus McGivney. I teach eighth grade social studies, and after today's Civil War, the students are definitely going to need reconstruction. Hi, my name is Joe. I teach middle school math. I love my students, but they're going down. <laughs> I'll tell you what, anytime McGivney can give me a Civil War pun, I am on board with that. Guys, let's play some spell check. What do you say? Yeah! All right, 
right, here's how the game works. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, guys, step up to the microphone. I'll give you a word to spell, but only 10 seconds to do the whole thing. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. But if you say a wrong letter at any point, you're out of there. You eliminate everyone from their side. I'm going to give you 30 points for the round. But if the clock runs out and you're left standing, I'm going to give you a high five and 10 points for making it through the round. Now, the topic today, I love this. It's math vocabulary. And you'd be surprised how hard some of these words can get. We're going to start out nice and easy, though. So, teachers, we're going to go to you, Mrs. Koenig. Good luck, everybody. Angle. A-N-G-L-E. Good. Circle. C-I-R-C-L-E. Digit. D-I-G-I-T. Good work. Curve. C-U-R-V-E. Factor. F-A-C-T-O-R. Integer. I-N-T-E-G-R. Wait, no. <laughs> She's like, wait, stop. Can we go back? Sorry, you're out of there. The good try, though. Decimal. D-E-C-I-M-A-L. Obtuse. O-B-T-U-S-E. Good job. Quotient. Q-U-E. Throw some letters out there. We were about to get it right. <laughs> Binomial. B-I-N-O-M-I-A-L. Yeah, Mara. Okay. Tangent. T-A-N-G-E-N-T. -E okay. Rhombus. Rhombus. R-U... <laughs> Coefficient. C-O-E-F-F-I-C-E-N-T. Sorry, you're out of there. Down to our final spellers on both sides. Tough word, but you can do this. Reciprocal. R-E-C... I-P-R-A-L. So close. O-C-A-L. Mara couldn't get it done. Teachers win the round. Bring them up to 110. I love it. I love it, man. Both sides did so well there. Now, look, before we go to break, I have more points on the line. Let's get some extra credit out there. One question, 10 points on the line. Here is your question, everybody. Sturgeon, barracuda, and carp are all types of what? Okay, there's the question. We'll see you guys after the break with the answer. Today we have the students and teachers from Ursuline Academy in Newcastle County. The score is teachers 110. Good job, guys. Students with a 50. Both sides feeling pretty good about themselves right now, and they should. Moving into the extra credit before the break. I loved it. Here you go. Sturgeon, barracuda, and carp are all types of what, Madeline? Fish. Fish. Teachers. We say fish. Fishies. Yeah, both sides getting 10 points there. Here we go. Madeline, do me a favor. I want you to smile into that camera right there because we're going to picture day next. Okay, guys, put your best smile on and grab your buzzers. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'm going to give you three clues one at a time, guys. With each clue I give you, I'll remove three boxes. You buzz in, correctly identify the picture. You're going to get 10 points for your team. Be careful. If you get it wrong, though, your whole side's locked out, and the other side has a chance to jump in and steal the points. We have three pictures today, and this is my favorite. Here's number one, clue number one, and I want three of those boxes down, please. Let's do it. The multi-talented woman is an actress, singer, producer, fashion designer, and mother. Who is it? Here we go, guys. Clue number two. I'm going to remove three more boxes. This should help a little bit. She is a judge on a TV show, World of Dance. Here we go, Miss Koenig. Jennifer Lopez. Is that my girl, J-Lo? Yeah, it sure is. And one heck of a sweater, that thing looked warm. All right, guys, here's picture number two. Let's do this thing with clue number one. This person was born in present day Nepal. Clue number two, this might help just a little bit more with that picture coming into view. 
His title means the Awakened One or the Enlightened One. Here we go. Buddha. Is that the Buddha? Yeah, that sure is the Buddha. <laughs> the woke one. And we move into our final picture here in Picture Day. Students, don't let them sweep this round. You can do it. Let's get you on the board here. He is a fictional character. Here we go, clue number two. I have the answer, and I wasn't going to get that. So here we go, clue two. This video game character races, plays sports, and clears ghosts out of a mansion. Mr. Gibney? Luigi. Is that Luigi? Teacher yeah. sweeps around. <laughs> Gets him up to 150, almost a 100-point lead, which is big news, but they could not get it done. Both teams are going to be on the cusp and one answer away from winning this thing in final exam. Here's your topic, guys. It's vampires. Vampires is the topic today. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our topic. Each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points. You get it right, 100 points gets added to your score. You'll write down your answers during the commercial break. No writing quite yet. First, Mara, what do you say I give you these questions? Here we go. Question number one, final exam. In the novel series Twilight, what is the last name of Edward's vampire family? Question two, all about vampires. The only mammals that feed entirely on blood are the vampire species of what winged animal? Finally, question three, final exam. This one's worth 100. In the Hotel Transyl Transylvania movies, what is the name of Dracula's daughter voiced by Selena Gomez? There are your questions. Each team, 60 seconds on the clock to talk about it. Clara doesn't look like she knows any of them yet, but the good news is she got two partners on that team who say they know all three of them. When we come back, we're crowning a classroom champion. But before you go, friends, I want your school here. Your school wants themselves here. Here's how they can be a part of the show. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Classroom, guys, today we have the students and teachers from Ursuline Academy going head to head. Teachers, 150 on the board. They've played a pretty good game thus far, going up against their students, 60 points, and they're playing well. Seventh and eighth graders, Madeline, you're an eighth grader. You play volleyball. I got to give you major props. Do one of these, do a lift up, show everybody what we have on the foot there. Guys, oh. she's playing this game right now with a casted up foot, and I didn't even notice. We're making her walk all over the studio. You didn't even say anything. Um, I'm a team player. That is what I'm talking about. I love it. <laughs> That's why they call her Mad Dog. By the way, where did you get the nickname from? Um, my uncle actually gave it to me when I was younger, but it didn't really catch on until like I was in fourth or fifth grade. So now she just walks around the hallways going, I'm Mad Dog. Roo, 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 roo. I do. <laughs> I, you got to come to my school sometime. That sounds incredible. All right, guys, let's get into this thing. The topic of today's final exam is vampires. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. Each correct answer you guys get correct is going to be worth 100 points for your score. Let's see who aced this thing. Someone's taking home the money and those bragging rights. Question number one. In the novel series Twilight, what is the last name of Edward's vampire family? Now, students... We're gonna see if we can get you guys climbed out of this hole. Let's see if you can get this one right. You said. Question mark. Garcelin. Oh, man. Yeah. Hey, listen, I love the school pride. So you know what? I don't even care what the teachers are gonna say. Let's go right to Mara and question number two. <laughs> the only mammals that feed entirely on blood are the vampire species of what winged animal? Mara, you said. Bats. Yeah, there's 100, 160, okay. <laughs> That's what Mara does. She gets answers right. By the way, she's only in seventh grade, and she's here rocking and rolling. Here we go. Question three. Let's see if we can pad the score here before we even go to our teachers. In the Hotel Transylvania movies, what is the name of Dracula's daughter voiced by Selena Gomez? Madeline? Mavis. Mavis is right. Got you guys up to 260. Okay. Good work. You did what you had to do there. We got up to a nice amount of points. Now it's on the teachers to see how well you guys do. Good luck, guys. You got to get two out of the three here. 
In the novel series Twilight, you guys know it, the last name of the family was what? Mr. B. We went with Cullen. That's gonna do it, one to 250. You are one question away from winning this thing. The popcorn machine over here sounded fantastic. Madeline, if the students win, they're refurnishing the student lounge with a popcorn machine, some new chairs, the whole nine yards, iPads, computers. But if we lose, they are gonna start trash talking. Who's gonna be the worst trash talker over there? Mr. Belinsky. Mr. Belinsky, Claire, has he been talking trash in class a little bit? Uh, I don't have him anymore, but he did. He did. All right, so plenty for years to come. Now look, if you get this right, Mr. McGivney with the hair that's been rocking all day. I mean, that thing is fantastic. Thank you. You guys are taking home that $500. You ready to show us your cards here? The only man that feed entirely on blood are the vampire species for the win. Brand new playground equipment, and give me a haircut for you. The answer? Mm -hmm. That would be a bat. The bat is right. Teachers are winning this game at $500. Yeah. Come on out and win this thing. The big check. Everybody wants one. Great game by the students. And how about it? The principal's here to celebrate, too. This was a good one today, right? Yeah, good. We'll see you guys next time in the classroom. Thanks for being here, everybody. We'll see you later. Yeah. Great, great game, guys. Good job. Good job. Good work. Good work. I thought they were coming back, Mr. B. Good job. Great game, Mrs. K.